It's time to talk beach money. Welcome to the Beach Money Podcast. I'm your host, Jim Clouk, and I have Mr. Beach Money himself, Jordan Adler. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jim. What's going on? Nice to see you. Hey, it's great to see you. Thank you for coming on to your podcast. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to talk to your friends and associates about how they live a beach money life. And I wanted to start this all off by talking to what I call Mr. Beach Money himself, author of a couple of beach money books. Do you have those handy? I do actually. Here they are. This is the uh, first book, Beach Money, and the second book, Better Than Beach Money. Yeah, yeah. And a, a little history of Jordan and myself, we first met briefly on my radio show back in 2009, and we spoke about the first book and about Jordan's life. And we reconnected years later, and we have a lot of people in common, a lot of friends and associates in common. And I can't think of a better way to help other people live their dream other than figuring out beach money. I found my own beach money and yeah. everyone has a little bit of a different approach. Can you tell everybody what we mean by beach money, Jordan? Absolutely. You know, beach money is a metaphor. It's uh, pretty clear when you hear the, fra the the words beach money, what it is in terms of it, it, it's, per it's setting yourself up so that you have an income stream, whether you go to work or not. And that gives you choices gives you the ability to live your life on your terms with who you want, where you want, and when. And so I was at Venice Beach when I was in my 20s. I had I had a job at the time that was paying me less than $20,000 a year. And I would drive from Phoenix, Arizona to the beach. And I, I couldn't afford a hotel room, so I would drive back the same day. It's about a five-hour drive each way. But I'd go there during the week, and there'd be you know, thousands of people on the boardwalk, skateboards, there's a woman out there playing harp, there's people on roller skates, there's there's food vendors, there's street performers. And I just like the vibe, I fell in love with the vibe. And I thought to myself, what do all these people do for a living? They can't all be on vacation. There's people hanging out on their balconies, looking down on the boardwalk and the, you know, the, the it was 70 degrees and there was a nice breeze blowing off the ocean. And I'm like, I want beach money. Like, I want to be able to hang out at the beach whenever I want to. And one of my first goals many years ago, when I was in, still in my 20s, was to be able to go to the beach and spend at least a week on the beach every single month. So I have a one-week vacation every single month on the beach. First thing I started doing was going for one day, then eventually two days, then eventually three days. And then eventually I got to a point where I would spend a week every single month on the beach. And I still do a lot of that. I don't do it in that way, but I've got... I've got um, many, many stories over the years of spending anywhere from a week to a couple of weeks on the beach all over the world with friends and business associates. And uh, that has all been built around the the, the mechanism, the, mm -hmm. the, the ability to create an income stream, a residual income stream. A lot of people in jobs, Jim, they have traditional jobs where they're trading time for money and they maybe believe that residual income is out there, but they don't believe they can have it. Yeah. You know, they might know, well, you could buy vending machines or you can get rentals or you might join a network marketing company. And so there's a lot of people out there that know that's out there, but they don't believe in themselves enough to be able to create it. And what, what Beach Money does, what my book does is, is it helps people to see a pathway for themselves to get it. Anybody who has a job, who's making a good income, can make beach money. Now, some people want to do it on the side, which is fine. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Jordan knows a lot of people who do that with send out oh, cards, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people do that. I made a decision years ago not to live the average American lifestyle. Okay. That was go to school, get an education. And work from 22, roughly, after I graduate from college, to 65. Pedal to the metal. And then at 65, I can take my Alaskan cruise and then <laughs> die. I want to live life today. Ow. I go to the beach. I go to the mountains to ski. I travel the world. And I think some people wonder how I do it. Because most middle-aged guys who are married with kids are anchored 
to that job. And some of these people are making 50000 at their job. Some of these people are making a million dollars at their job, but they still don't have the time. And time is valuable. For me, Jordan, I don't know about you, the most valuable thing about beach money is the time component. You Absolutely. don't have to be a billionaire to be on the beach, right? Right. Actually, you know, Jim, I, I, I worked in corporate America for 17 years mm. and I was the cubicle guy. I did have an office a couple of times, but for the most part, I was the cubicle guy. And at the age of 34 years old, I was working for an airline and in the offices, in the training department. And my job was paying me at the time 28000 a year. And then the airline cut my pay in half to 14000 a year after they filed bankruptcy. So at 34 years old, I was living in an enclosed garage. My rent was $200 a month. I had $36,000 in credit card debt on 22 credit cards. I had a Jeep that had been broken down for two years that I couldn't afford to fix. And I was going to a job. And, and I just, after 17 years in corporate America, and I looked at my life, and I looked at the lives of the people around me, and the most of them were miserable, I decided I, I've got to figure this entrepreneur thing out. Mm -hmm. And I finally cracked the code. It took many years. I was involved in 11 network marketing companies in 10 years and never signed up one person, not one. <laughs> 10 years, 11 companies, never got a check. And my 12th company, I made millions of dollars. But that was after many, many years of having a really strong dream that I salivated over. I wanted this life so bad. And I'd get such a pit in my stomach every day that I'd go to work. And I just stayed focused on aligning myself with a vehicle that would produce residual income, that would produce passive income, because people purchase the product over and over again, whatever that product is looking for something that that where people could buy things every month and you would receive a check from it. And if you can get lo a loyal customer base and eventually a distributor base that has customers that are using the service or buying the products, that's going to throw a check into your account every day or every week or every month. Well, sure. We see how valuable companies like Apple with their their podcast products and other products and 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 Netflix their subscription people are buying things over and over again you can do the same thing in a network marketing company for instance there's lots of them i know you're very involved with send out cards would you talk a little bit about it yeah the name of the company is prompting send out cards is the mechanism um but the product is the product is send out cards and we've got a number of other service related products that are related to that but they're it's a it's a simple tool that allows you to send physical cards and gifts in the mail from an app on your phone and this is a this is a service that people once they once they uh start using it they get addicted to it and they want to use it every single month mm. they want to use it every single day to be able to send out personal messages of positivity to the people in their life business associates they've got their family their friends and so People pay for that every month. Some of them pay for it every day. Some of them pay for it on subscription, subscription every month. And it's almost like when you get a customer, it's like having a little vending machine. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to maintain the machine. You don't have to stock the product. You don't have to collect the money out of the machine and count it and tabulate it all up. That's all done for you by the company. That's all you do is plug people in, find people that want to build businesses and find people that want to use our service. And it's and there's there's literally thousands of companies out out there that have this kind of a model where people buy something over and over again, and as a result of that, you get a commission check. So the company doesn't have to spend money on expensive advertising campaigns. They don't have to buy ads. They don't have to do billboards. They don't have to do any kind of media advertising. We are the affiliates or the distributors through word of mouth, which is the best form of advertising. Share it, and we get the money that would normally go to the advertising agency. So you become a marketer for the company. You have an ID number that gets that connects you to the customers and you to your distributors. And then you get paid off their volume, which is brilliant because you don't have to stock any product. You don't have to deliver anything. You have unlimited income potential. It's a very, very, very low startup. So there's very low risk. So it's a really great model. And you learn entrepreneurship. If you're in a job and you've never been an entrepreneur and you want to learn entrepreneurship without having to invest thousands or tens of thousands of dollars, this is a great way to do it. It is a fantastic way to do it. Some people will quit their job and start a business. 
they have to know everything. They got to hire, fire, train somewhere between the hiring and firing, <laughs> right? They have to know sales and marketing and how to produce the product and or service. What's great about a network marketing company is like you said, everything is provided. You can work as much as you want, as little as you want, and you're going to get paid accordingly. But if you put a lot in up front, the later years will allow you to make more money and have more beach time, the beach money. Yeah. So imagine this. If you can put in five hours a week and you can find one other person that can put in five hours a week, now you're benefiting from 10 hours worth of work a week, but you're only putting in five. If you can help some of those people find some people and you find a few more people, and let's say you have 20 people that are all putting in five hours a week, now you're getting paid on 100 hours worth of work a week, but you're only putting in five. So it's a way to leverage yourself. Now, there's no revenue unless people are getting customers that are using a service or mm -hmm. buying a product or on a subscription. So ultimately, the distributors will need to go out and get some customers. And those customers will use the service. Sometimes they'll use it once. Sometimes they'll use it uh, for a, a year. Sometimes they'll use it for five and some will use it for a lifetime. And so over time, you accumulate an income stream, which you can never do at a job. You trade your time for money. You put in the work, you get paid. But in network marketing, you can accumulate an income stream. So let's say after two months, you're making $100 a month. And then after four months, you're making $200 a month. And after six months, you're making $500 a month. And after a year, imagine that because, because the income stacks on itself on, on itself because people are continuing to reorder. Well, sure. You know, to put it in perspective for people who, who don't quite grasp this or they think it's too good to be true, it's like being a landlord. That first property gives you $500 a month positive cash flow, let's say. The second, another $500. And it keeps building on itself and it's an asset and people need to live somewhere. Now, people don't always need what is being sold through network marketing. But what I love about the send out cards product is that it's an opportunity for people to make money on it outside of the business opportunity without send out within send out cards itself, meaning yeah. that. If you're a realtor, an insurance agent, someone who sells cars, you want to be able to touch people in a unique way. And when you send them a card with a picture of them in it, they're going to love that, right? So it's – I find a lot of, of, of products out there that are sold through network marketing are personal products and healthcare products and so forth. This is a – business opportunity to make money from a business product. Am yeah. I making sense on that? Absolutely. And, and anybody who owns a business knows that if you are, if you make sure that your customers feel appreciated and remembered, they're going to remember you when they need you or when one of their family members or friends needs you. So it's really about sending out kindness every day in a personal card that goes into their mailbox, you hit the send button and you're done. The card is at the post office the next morning. Or if you send a gift, the gift is at the post office the next morning on their on its way to there up to them. And uh, it's a it's a it's a very valuable. In fact, I've heard from so many business owners that once they start using our service, it becomes the most valuable app on their phone. And for me, I just can't even imagine running any business without it after using it. It opens doors. It ensures that you get more referrals. It ensures repeat business. It keeps you top of mind so that when they're ready to refer you or to or to uh, use you again, it keeps you top of mind. For those people that have a product, for example, that they want people to reorder. That's one of the biggest challenges. You know, you sell it if it's a, a beauty product or a skincare or hair care product. You want those people that are buying your product to reorder. Well, a lot of times if they're not reminded, they don't reorder. So if you send them two or three or four cards a year in the mail, just telling them how much you appreciate them as a customer, they go, yeah, you know what? I need to order more shampoo or, you know, I need to order more of that nail stuff or whatever it is. Um, so that, and then realtors, perfect example. You know, there are a million realtors. Everybody knows 10 realtors at any given time. And if you're not the realtor that's in front of them, 
when they are ready to buy, you're not getting the business. But if you send them two or three cards a year with your brand on the back of the card and you tell them how much you appreciate them, you send them a holiday card, you send them a birthday card, they're going to remember you. And it's something that's like almost fully automated. You can do it right from your phone or on your computer in a matter of seconds. You can have a personalized card in the mail with pictures, high quality for one fifth what you pay at the store. What's old is new again. Yeah. Email came in and people thought, well, this is great. We've got the fax machine. We've got email. We don't need to send things in the mail anymore. Um, it's, it's amazing because so many people are going to the right, let's say, but with sending a card in the mail, you're going to the left. You're going the opposite of where everyone else is going, which is good because you stand out, you're unique. And there's still something about opening the mailbox and getting a personal addressed envelope to you with a card in it or better yet maybe some brownies or something yeah so what do people get when they go to their mailboxes right now junk they mail bills and junk mail that's all they get and and some of them aren't even getting bills anymore but a lot of people still get their bills that way very few people get anything special in their mailbox they don't look forward to going to their mailbox you start sending personal cards and that's a gift in an envelope people love it and they will shout you out on social media uh, and if you're business minded and entrepreneurial minded, think about what that means in terms of building a business, because there are millions and millions and millions of people out there that need this service and they don't currently have it. They don't even know about it. You share it with them and they like it and they start using it. You get a residual check every month. Beach money. It's beach money. And it, it, so it's a great product. The send out cards products, a great product, and it enables you to earn beach money and getting back to different ways to earn beach money on this podcast going forward. I'm going to have a lot of Jordan's friends and associates who make beach money in many different ways. Can you offer up a few different ways where someone could make beach money outside of network marketing? Absolutely. I'll just name a couple here quickly. One is you could sell life insurance. Mm -hmm. And some people love that. That's a great idea. Another thing you could do is you could buy vending machines. Now let's talk about vending machines briefly. Nothing wrong with that model. There are thousands and thousands of people that make a lot of money with vending machines. But a good vending machine is going to cost you five to $10,000. You're either going to have to finance it or pay cash for it. And you're never going to make a lot of money on one vending machine. You're going to have to have multiple vending machines. So it's easy to spend a hundred or 150,000. And then you've got to have somebody to go collect, to make sure the product stays fresh and stocks the product, fixes the machines, all those kinds of things. But that's another way. Um, there's a, there, that's a model that would allow you to create, you could hire people to run the business and you could create a residual income stream. And then you mentioned, you know, rentals. Um, storage facilities where you're renting out storage units. But again, a lot of the businesses out there, there's a significant capital outlay up front in order to get them up and running. And there could be a good passive residual income for you. But if you think about it, that's all you need to do is check in with the people that have beach money and they're all around you. There's people that don't have to work anymore because they have a check coming in every single month. Who are those people and where's that money coming from? Some of them waited till they were 70 and they're getting a check from the government. You could do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's or, called, it's or you called could a pension spend, from the government, social security. Yeah. Or you could spend, or you could spend the next, you know, two to five years putting in some elbow grease and introducing a good idea to people and create something that'll allow you to like Jim and his wife, allow you to live your life now and be able to travel the world if you want to, or, you know, pay attention to some, charitable causes that you're excited about or whatever, you know, whatever it is you're going to do with your free time when you have it. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, Jordan, you and I have really only seen each other in, in recent years, a couple of times. And once was when I was in Vegas with my wife, thank you for dinner, by the way. And also um, in Hawaii, we almost connected, but we were both there. Oh, but but there's an example of a couple of guys, right? Uh, young, good looking guys like us who are you know traveling the world and able to spend time together and have a meal where a lot of people are like Vegas, Hawaii. Who has time for that? Right. Yeah. It's a yeah. shame. 
It's amazing. Yeah. I run into my entrepreneurial friends all over the world. It's a, it's unbelievable because, you know, we've got social media today. So people have a, get a sense of where you are at, at, at any given time. And if you're posting along the journey, um, this happens a lot. This is what happened to us. We both figured out we were both in Hawaii at the same time. We actually ended up at the airport together. You got a selfie. You, you, we connected, but just for a couple of minutes, just long enough to get a selfie. But I run into people all over the world that are also entrepreneurs that are living their dreams and and we meet at the beach and we meet in New Orleans and we sometimes even meet on cruise ships in uh, some other country. That's happened a number of times. Yeah. And and we're going to be together. We're going to be <laughs> together on a cruise in, is it November? In November, early November, we're going to be on yeah. a cruise for a week together with um, other entrepreneurial people. So it's, it is a, it's, it's a group of people who live in, in the world who who can actually live on beach money as jordan calls it some people call it mailbox money you may have heard of that term yeah. um and you know same type of thing where it just keeps coming and coming and coming and it's really a great way to earn an income but a great way to live a life and i want to tell people this because I, I i do tell people all the time do not work until you're 70 to collect the social security check and not take advantage of your younger years. But we're taught in this country to work hard till we're old and then we can enjoy. I think that's crazy. What do you think? Yeah. 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 I think that uh, there's so <laughs> much, there's so much life to live. There's so many opportunities out there to really enjoy life on your terms. Most people give up on their dreams um, and they start to sh they start to shrink their dreams to meet their income instead of expand your income to meet your dreams. And uh, there are just so many, in today's world, there are just so many different ways to do that. Find something that you're passionate about that you love and stick with it. And uh, who doesn't want a, life, a, laptop, a laptop lifestyle? I totally... Build it from the mountaintop, build it from the beach, build it from the city, whatever you want, or from the country. I totally agree. Jordan, I appreciate your time here on the Beach Money Podcast. Thank you so much. I am going to have in the notes of this podcast everything you're going to want to see and have that Jordan and I spoke about. Links to his two books to get them on Amazon and his website and other great places for you to learn more about how you can make beach money. Again, Jordan, thank you so much. Thanks, Jim.